Hi everyone! I wanted to quickly fill my July empties video because I need to move those out of the way so that I can start putting in my August empties. I already have produced the first um, empty for August so I really need to get through them and I have sorted um, them by products that are in product pans and other products. I'm going to start with the product pans I pan items first because I have talked about those in the past and I think I can hopefully just go through them real quick and be done. So for stars I have my Florina hand lotion with uh, cherry blossom scent. This was quite nice. I've used this one up completely in the past month. I had my La Vera body lotion with almond milk and um, honey. Also a nice product. Then I had finally used up my Alessandro Hands Up Magic Manicure Complete with mango and peach. Also a nice product, but not cruelty free. Just like the Florina hand lotion, the La Vera um, body, um, body lotion is cruelty free. Then I used up another body lotion. This was the Alberti body lotion um, with um, that one flower that I never um, remember. So um, basically I didn't have too much left in here. This was not completely full but I also needed it quite a bit. This is empty. This was cruelty free and also vegan as far as I remember. Yes, it's also vegan. Then I used up a um, bath um, thingamabob. This was with um, rose scent. Quite nice, but nothing that I would really repurchase, even if it were cruelty free. Finally, I used up my Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Oversized Orange. This, as you can see, is just a bright orange shade. I used up, and this is just a stand-in, I used up my um, one um, Lush Massage Bar. I used up the Sephora Shimmer Harmony Gloss um, Lip Gloss Palette. And that was it for the... Um, products that were in product pants. For other products I used up, I used up my Balea Shaving um, Gel. Um, this was with pink grapefruit. This was quite nice. I do like this. It is very gel and um, it foams up nicely and the scent was very, very good. I used up another um, bottle of my favorite eye makeup remover. This is the uh, Revolve the Loop eye makeup remover for um, waterproof mascara and waterproof makeup. This is very nice. It is cruelty free and vegan. And I have, um, I think I now have five backups left. I'm working on the fifth right now. So um, this is very, very nice. I also used up once again my um, Alberti wash cream with um, clay. This is a repeat product for me. I do like this a lot. It's cruelty free and vegan, but it does contain alcohol. I used up a refill for the Belia hand lotion. This was with olive and uh, lemongrass. It's quite nice, but I usually rotate through these and um, just um, buy whichever I feel like it. I also used up uh, my um, Balea Mate um, Ultra Sensitive uh, Wash Gel. This I used to remove my uh, makeup before going over my um, face again with the Alberti. This is cruelty free. As far as I remember, it is not vegan, but it's a very nice product. It does remove my makeup very well. So um, I have um, repurchased this and I'm using the backup already. The same goes for the Alberti um, Clay uh, Face Tonic. I do like this a lot. I uh, buy this repeatedly. Um, I think you've seen this in almost every makeup basket for the past year. So it's cruelty free and vegan, but it contains alcohol, which is kind of the downside for me. But all in all, this is very, very nice. Then I decided to actually declutter this Valeda um, face lotion. This is uh, with uh, Wild Rose. I believe this made me break out. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I'm not going to try this again because it do if it does break me out, and this was the only new product I used at the time when I had breakouts again, um, I don't want to risk it. So I'm decluttering this. This is out of my collection. I've, however, used up the um, Soap and Glory Make Yourself Youthful Rejuvenating Face Serum. This was actually quite nice. And um, I have to say, um, trying this sample size made me um, very intrigued. As far as I know, Soap and Glory is cruelty free, so I may repurchase this eventually. Then I used up a non cruelty free product. I used up um, one of the last few um, Midnight Pomegranate Pocket Bags from Bath and Body Works. This was quite nice. I do like these. I will have to find a backup once I have run out of the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. Another product I've used up is my Aveline um, brush cleanser. This is just for a quick in-between blush 
brush cleansing, not blush cleansing. I do like this a lot and I have um, repurchased these quite a few times. They are cruelty free. The bottle is relatively small. As you can see, it is um, 100 milliliters or roughly 3.33 fluid ounces. So there's not too much in there, but it lasts quite well usually. So I'm okay with that. And the last product I have used up is my Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base. And um, you've seen probably my review for this in my video on uh, Thursday. I do like this a lot and I already did purchase a backup. When I showed this the last time in my makeup basket, I actually said I probably have another use or two left. Um, I was wrong. I cut this open and I had like um, almost a week of um, using this left. So I could use this for at least five more times after cutting it open. So it definitely is worth it. I do like this a lot and uh, yeah, like I said, I have repurchased. I'm using it already. I have this under my foundation today even. So, and um, this was actually it for my makeup basket for the month of July. There was not too much that I had used up. I think mostly these were repeat products that I um, use up um, regularly. So this didn't take too long. I hope you enjoyed this, um, even though it was very short and sweet. But um, yeah, I'll let you go with that. And I hope you will have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.